All right, so check this out. I blasted my hand this week, this weekend, and I couldn't even move it, but now I'm able to move it. So I wanna show you in this short video the two items that exponentially pushed me over the edge of getting my, my hand to heal rapidly fast. And if you have anything blown, if you have anything that hurts, these are the things that you wanna do. So I'm gonna say the two pieces of tech for the very end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But the things that you need, and I will tell you with all the tech in the world, if you don't have your foundations dialed in, it just won't work. If you are not able to lower your nervous system and get your breathing correct, lower your nervous system, get your breathing connect. If you can't connect with the item, we are in a society and we are at a time where whenever we feel something uh, discomfort in the body, we think it's bad. It's not, it's just the body doing what it needs to do. So I had to sit there for a little while. It happened on Saturday. It's now um, Saturday night, Sunday, and we're now Monday morning. Um, I couldn't move my hand. So at first I had to sit there and feel my hand and feel the blockage of the energy and the fluid tissue and the, and the f swelling that started to come. And it started to like get locked up and hard. I had to feel that. Then I had to calm my nervous system back down. And then I had to start with, this was on Saturday, um, Sunday after I heard it, I let it rest, you know, the rest acronym, um, rest, uh, elevate, I'm sorry, rest, ice, compression, elevate, right? Rice. That's the first thing. Then I started to learn how to squeeze all over again. And that was on Sunday. Then on Sunday night, I was able to do two things. One, I was able to squeeze a little bit better as well as learn how to open my posterior chain, get my hand to learn how to open it. That's more important than the squeezing motion because it also does something differently inside the brain. Then number two, uh, at night, you started using a frequency device, putting your body in the right frequency of, for healing and anti-inflammation. And then number two, um, katsu. This is a blood pressure modification that does it start to open, vasodilate, vasoconstrict your vessels of inside of my hand. So if you have anything that hurts, you want to get blood flow, you want to get energy movement, and you have to keep your nervous system low for your body to do what it needs to do. Then you have to learn how to fuel yourself, get all the right nutrients in your body so your body has the raw materials to heal. The reason why I'm showing you this, the reason why I'm so excited and happy about this is because I could barely move my hand on Saturday. The joint, like I still feel some joint issues, especially um, within the, the middle carpal area, but I'm able to move my hand now. I want you to understand whenever you're in pain, whenever you're doing anything, if you have the right foundation, your body is going to rapidly heal. If you're holding on something for weeks and weeks on end, you need to get your foundation right before you jump to tools. The tools help. But the foundation is what really, really matters. That's why I want to show you those things. Hopefully this helped. See you on the next one.